Has your patio furniture seen better days, or do you have a new unfinished chair that you just want to jazz up a bit? Here to show us both scenarios, Benjamin Moore, Sharon Greck. Come on in here. How are you? Good. It's summer. I'm happy. <laughs> me too. I mean, nothing makes me happier than seeing the sun out there. But if you want to chill out on one of these yes. great chairs, we know that these are sort of like a Canadian standard, the Muskoka chair. Absolutely. Or south of the border. Adirondack. Adirondack chair. Yep. Either Adirondack way. Chairs. <laughs> Either way, they're great chairs for up at the cottage, lakeside. Exactly. You, you might have one that's a little bit aged, or you might have bought one fresh and it needs a little bit of help and a little yeah. bit of love. That's what you they, did. They can last forever, especially when you buy yes. the, the wood ones. So I've got an array of some that are you know, from 10 years old to picked up last week at a big box store. Nice. So I just wanted to show some different things you can do to customize them and really have fun with it. So with the first one, if you take a look at the before shot, this was it assembled. I assembled it in my backyard, took a couple of hours, wasn't a big deal, but it's natural pine. This yeah. one, you can get them in natural cedar, you can get them in, in oak, you can get them in a variety of different woods. But I wanted to go with a nice simple one that looks like a blank canvas to me. It was mm -hmm. just like begging for color and pattern. So with this one, I was inspired by my daughter's gingham shirt. Shirt, right? So it's kind of again a little bit of a Canadiana theme here. So I went with the, the, using the um, wood, like the natural mm -hmm. wood, as one of the three colors that you traditionally see in a gingham pattern. And then I use a semi transparent black. So I wanted to really enhance the natural wood this time mm -hmm. and a semi solid white. So the cool thing with the semi transparent is again, it does emphasize the natural wood there. So you do want to give it a good sanding before you use semi transparent. Okay. So that again, so it's, it's as blotch free as possible. Pine mm -hmm. is a softer wood, so it's going to be blotchy. But I wanted to show this because we actually, this is a brand new card from Benjamin Moore, and we actually put like a, a wood paper on it. So I'm so excited that how similar my stain color actually looks compared to the reality. So, <laughs> but perfect. With, yeah, so thinking about that though, it is always a good idea to try out a sample. But because I was just doing these little chairs, I actually just was able to use the small pint samples mm -hmm. to do the whole project. Oh, that's so, good. So that's awesome. Like it's not a very expensive project. So semi transparent black, semi-solid white natural, and then I use the Arbor Coat clear coat to put over the whole thing just to give it some added protection. Okay. Now okay. the chair is amazing and the paint job's amazing, but what is but, that thing hanging off okay. the side of the chair? You know what? I That's need cool. one of those. Isn't this cool? You know what this is? This is just a shower caddy. Oh, right? Inexpensive. You're you so them, smart. Right? You know, so it's waterproof, obviously. That is so good. <laughs> so bring it outside, just a couple of three-quarter inch screws underneath, attached yeah. it, and it's nice and solid. So you've got There's your... There's no shampoo in there, though. No. Oh, your no. cold beverage, yes. your magazine, your sunscreen, everything you need to like park yourself out in the backyard or on the dock and spend the whole day there enjoying it. it. Now, the other thing, I thought we all spend a time outside now with our iPads, your iPhones. Yeah. So I actually caught, got this really cool um, battery, solar battery charger that's waterproof from Amazon. So I've kind of placed it on the back here with these really oh. cool little clips. So the, again, these are waterproof, just things you get at a hardware store. Oh, that's cool. But this... You lay it out flat. And Solar you, pad? Yeah, you can attach it to the back of your backpack uh -huh. or you can clip it onto the back of your deck chair and then yeah. while you're sitting, you know, using up all your juice, it's charging for you. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that cool? That's very smart. Yeah, so I'm just going to place it down there so I don't have to put it back on again. But again, you know, you can bring a place out to bring out your, your headphones yeah. and you can just really enjoy being outside um, wherever you want to place it. Gorgeous. Now, for this one, I want a little mm. bit less techy, a little more slow tech, as yeah. I like to call it. With the solid stain, it covers completely. So it's a bit different mm -hmm. than the semi-transparent. This is just one coat of my favorite Benjamin Moore Blue Hudson Bay. It's lovely. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So the great thing about solid stains is that you can choose any of our 4,000 plus colors, or you can custom match it. So you can use anything with the solid stains. With okay. the semi-transparent, you have to go through the booklet and find one that sort of, that, that we Works. have a formulation for. So awesome way to incorporate color color outside. I see a lot of people using color on their Adirondack chairs. So this one, very simple, one coat, but for fun, I added, again, I'm inspired by the bath, I guess. I love that thing. <laughs> is it a pro bath caddy? Yes, that's Man, all it is. Man, that is, is a smart. Bath caddy. So this that one's great. teak. So again, it can obviously handle the, the weather, outside. the water. You've got a spot for your glass. You've got a spot for your phone. You've got a spot to put your book up or your oh, iPad. That's so, so good. Right? Yes. Very smart. So look in the bath and shower section. Yes, absolutely. For your outdoor, for your, I think for that's your outdoors excellent. product. And, and again, an umbrella, because that's nice. funny. I picked up this to go to my daughter's baseball game, yeah. and I can clip it onto the bleachers, and it's really awesome. And I bet you next year, everyone's going to have them. Yes. <laughs> I'm but sure it, every parent came up to you asking. They did. Yes. 
Yeah, I was like huddled with a few people. <laughs> that, is a very, that is very intelligent. Um, but I love that stain. I love, I love that that punch of saturated color. I think it's gorgeous. Um, really, really and nice. I know if you follow your instructions, it'll last, right? Yes, it will last. Yeah. Now, this is an older one. This yep. is one that's 10 years. A friend of mine donated it for this, this project. This one right here. And the chair, believe it or oh, not, Tracy. The chair but looks yes, good the table now. shows you what it looked like before. And yeah. this is a 10 year old set that's already been restained probably four or five years ago. Okay. So again, it's it's maintenance for sure. They keep theirs in a, in a shed over the winter, but yeah. again, they can handle being outside. It's just going to be a little bit more maintenance. So that actually looks kind of shabby chic, so it's kind of cool. Not bad at all. I wasn't expecting that. But this, if you take a look at the before, you can sort of see the whole the whole thing in its, yes. in its um, wabi sabi glory. Yes. <laughs> and then you can see the close up of what the arms looked like. So you can get an idea of how, you know, again, it was, it was kind of cute, but we wanted to refinish it for the new season. So use the same color they had, Ferndale Green. Also Lovely. a solid sting, but for this one we had to sand it really well. Like you want to sand off any loose bits. Yeah. If you have any um, repairs to make, this is the time to do it if you're using an exterior wood filler okay. to fill any holes, that sort of thing. But then cover it, and this is a nice vintage green, you know, it doesn't say this. cottage. It's just cool, <laughs> calm, it's a beautiful minty color. You yeah. got the, the hat ready the to hat, go. So you're ready. <laughs> it's going to be a good day in the sun. I love, I love it. it. Regardless of, as, of if you're just jazzing it up, or if you're starting from scratch, uh, we've got all of the, this looks so ridiculous. Yeah, it looks awesome. It's just sitting right on top. <laughs>